Oh wow, we're trying out Cotton on the X64 and guys, you can uh, you can hear my controller. So if you want to get this up and running, make sure you watch the tutorial that uh, that follows this game. Uh, it's very, very easy to set up. Everything will be shown and provided to you and you can play or you can test out this amazing Japanese computer for yourself. It's something that I discovered on the Mr. FPJ. I did some live streams. I done everything manually myself with the help of a friend, but uh, you know what? Now the guys that brought us Amiga Vision and the Zero Megahertz Dots collection have made it very, very easy for us. There's a whole bunch of good games on there. Cotton is fantastic. Anyway, guys, stick around and let's do that tutorial. Alrighty then, let's do this. Guys, you want to get the X68000 core and the games, the starter pack working on your Mr. FPGA. Now, this has actually been out for some time. I think it was released in August last year and it must have passed me. I think I heard about it and then I forgot. I didn't add it to my notes, but someone over on my Discord mentioned it and he said, have you seen this? And I was like, wow, this is amazing because when you see the, a name like Amiga Vision and the Zero Megahertz DOS collection, and this is something that they've done, you know it's going to be quality. Also want to mention that the games, the videos of the games you saw running at the beginning of this video were actually a result of this tutorial. I ran those at the end of this tutorial and I just put them at the beginning of the video so we know everything works. So follow this and you will get this going for yourself. So let's begin. Head over, open your browser and go to this website x68k.us. Once you go there, you're going to be presented with this page, this page that we're looking at now. There's only one prompt on this entire page. It says download. And when you click that, it's going to offer you download the X68000 starter pack. Now I must point out this website doesn't host any uh, copyright material, no ROMs. All it does is it provides you with a search link. So it does a search for you for archive.org. Now, usually when you do the search, you'll find what you're looking for. Sometimes it may not be there. When you go over to archive.org, you'll find a file, an X68000 starter pack. When you find that, you've got different uh, options to download it. You've got, um, you can download a zip file or you can download it via a torrent, like a direct download or via a torrent. I went via a torrent and it worked very easily, very, very quickly for me. It's not, this isn't a massive pack. Like the Amiga one was 10 gig. The zero megahertz was quite big as well. This one only comes in at 463 megabytes. So I'm not going to click on that, but once you click on that, get the download. And once you get the download, head over to where your download is. So here's my download here. And this is what it will look like. Mr. 68K 08 2024. And that's when it was released. Well, I can't believe it was so long ago. And let's go into that folder. We're going to find a RAW file. Now, what you want to do is extract that RAW file. I'm going to do it using 7-zip, but do it with whatever you want to do. WinRAR, Windows inbuilt, with Windows inbuilt. Sorry, guys, all real time here. So extract files and let's extract those files now. So just so you understand this a little bit, if you run up there tool, you've already got the core. It's just you may not have any games for it. So if we just ha have a look at a Mr. SD card, if we go right to the bottom, we're going to see that we've, we've got an X68000 core here. There you go. That's what up there tool will fetch for you. So what we want to do now is when we have a look at the folder that we've extracted, there's another folder in there and there's a X68000 folder in here. And here we go. We've got this folder with lots of .hdf files in there, which are hard drive images. It means the games are gonna load up almost instantly. There's gonna be very, very little loading times. And all we simply need to do is go over to our mister, go over to the games folder. And at the very bottom, we are gonna see that we have a folder called X68000, here you go. And that's where the games go. So I've already copied them in here. You can see they're there, but that's all you need to do. What you can do is you can just drag and drop this on your Mr's micro SD card. I'll do it for reference, but it's gonna give me a method saying I've got everything here. So naturally that won't come up for you. Let it all copy or merge with that folder. I'm just gonna go skip these files because I have them already. And there you go, That that's, that's it. You've now got them on there. And all you need to do now is, well, we'll have a look. We're gonna run the X68000 call we'll launch it and let's see if we can get some games working so here we are over on our mr fpga so let's let's load up the x68000 call by going into the computer folder 
here we are in a computer folder near the bottom we've got it so don't mind that that's just me messing around with unstable cores because i like doing that thing we're going to go with the normal x68000 vanilla core because that's the core you guys will have when you run update tool so let's see if everything's worked so let's bring up the menu and what we want to do is go down to the third option which is this one here we want to launch, uh, launch that hdf the dot hdf file remember those are the files that we actually picked up and downloaded so that's the last game that i was playing but let's let's try and do a fresh one so let's do cosmo gang the puzzle no idea what this game is obviously the first time you launch it it's not going to launch the game that you were playing last time and you're going to get a little bit of a black screen you're going to get this screen here which probably probably like the way you boot into the game i don't actually know this system the first time i experienced this was on a mister guys all this is real time so do pardon the black screens that you're seeing but here you go we should have something loading up at some point wherever it's doing it's doing it here we go we have now got ourselves a game no idea what this game is here you go it's all running controls probably configured from like my other core when i messed around with it so let's go one player and here you go we're, we're playing away so there you go you've got like 300 and well over 300 games to play and enjoy and and this is a really really good system it's a computer but it had a lot of arcade games on there. in particular we're talking like a lot of the capcom stuff was on here so really really cool so guys enjoy if you enjoyed this video you enjoyed this tutorial thumbs up a subscription all that good stuff is always super duper appreciated anyway guys be super duper awesome to one another this is pixel Cherry Ninja out.